Hello everybody, it is Bazinga here and I'm bringing you the third episode in my random team selector series and this time I've chosen like five different teams and it is in the Serie A this time. So as you can see the first team we pull out is Chivo, Chavo, I'm not even really sure how to say their team name. But this is probably one of the worst teams that we did pick out in this but we did come up against uh, Ivory Coast two times in this episode and they're just pace demons. So as you can see there, Jovino slotting the ball into the back of the net in the 11th minute. So, I knew it wasn't going to be a really good match, but, you know, get it out of the way. There goes Drogba with a second goal in the 35th minute. And then he slots in another goal with Jovino. Pretty nice little volley there. Quite nice. Didn't mind it, but then I thought it was a chain time for... Sorry about that, guys. I'm making this commentary at, like, 11 o'clock in the morning because I haven't been asleep yet. So, I'm a bit rusty. Sorry about it. But, yeah, we changed up the formation and put a couple of different players on. And as you can see, straight after that... We score a lovely goal with, who's that, Pellissier? I'm not sure how to say the names, because I've never used this team before. But then we get another goal, so that made it 3-2. And at this point, I was thinking that the great comeback was on, but that guy just started playing it around the back, and he was just being a wanker, to be fair. So then, after that game, I decided to be a wanker to some random guy. But he does ab score an absolute scorcher, as you can see here. I'm not sure that was with Grobbacoots, not sure how to say their names to be fair, but there's Cavani with a nice slotted finesse into the top of the net. Lovely finish from Cavani there, and we go on to get another goal here with Cavani, pushes it around the keeper. Luckily, the keeper doesn't get his hands to it fully, just run it into the net just to give it a cheeky finish. And I run off doing the stupid celebration just to annoy him that bit more. And we get another rage quit. I think that's like five rage quits in the series now, so we draw out another team, and this time we get Palmer, and this team is insane. They've got Bibiani, Giovinco. Giovinco is a little star, by the way. So as you can see, we take the lead with Flocari there. 14th minute in. Great goal. And then we get another goal here with Bibiani. Bibiani gets two this game, I believe. But then we concede another one against Drogba. Oh yeah, as you can see, this is another guy that chose Ivory Coast. And I really hate coming up against Ivory Coast. But you know, there's Bibiani with another stunning strike into the back of the net. I was having quite fun now, but I think I score a really epic free kick this game. But as you can see, who was that? I think it was Dumbia. That was a mistake by me though. I passed the ball out to Dumbia. Oh yeah, here's the lovely free kick. As you can see, I was uh, looking for a player to... If they had any better free kicks than Giovinco. But Giovinco, the little hidden gem he is on head to head. Whips the ball in, top of the net. No catching that keeper, just at half time. But then the Flocari pulls out an amazing strike. Puts it down into the mid mid corner, if you know what I mean. And that's how that game ended. This guy done that uh, rage quitting thing again. I'm not sure what happens, but, but they do rage quit. It's just that the screen just freezes for some reason. So I have to dashboard. But we go into the next game and we draw out Roma. And they've got De Rossi, Totti, Lamella. He's, he's pretty good. But I think I ended up making a couple of substitutions this game, like mid-game. But we take the lead with Osvaldo in the 44th minute. Took took quite a long time to score that goal. But then we get Bojan. That's the guy that I brought on. Bojan is such a hidden gem in this game. In Ultimate Team, he's an absolute beast. But that's how that game ended. 2-0 against Newcastle. Pretty happy with that. But then we go into the final match of this episode and we pull out Udinese and they've got Di Natale. I'm not sure about any other players that they've got because I don't really play with Serie A teams a lot. But we go into the first game and we get a lovely volley with Di Natale there. I thought that finish was absolutely insane. Ball going behind him and he still manages to get volley on it. And then Di Natale again just slotting it past the keeper for a lovely finish. And that is how this episode is going to finish guys. Peace.